Yes, the Minnesota House has voted to make changes in teacher hiring practices. It's all being done to address teacher shortages, but DFLers have concerns about the legislation. And we get more from Eric Nelson, who joins us now. Eric? Yeah, Alex and Mike, essentially the House bill combines two state teacher licensing boards into one. House Republicans say the old way of hiring teachers was complex and confusing. They say this new model will simplify the process and attract more teachers to the state. We're blessed in a state that has a lot of people that are experts in the field that decide to have a career change later on in life. And if this uh, helps them get in the classroom and use that knowledge of actually being out in the workforce and in some of these fields, I think that that's, um, uh, that is uh, value that our students could uh, benefit from. So she's talking with Those in favor of changing the current system say it will not compromise standards and candidates would need to pass a series of tests to qualify. If the bill passes, a new four-tiered licensing system would be put in place. But not all politicians think this is a good bill. Some Democrats believe it could make the teacher shortage worse. Part of the cause of the teacher shortage is the relentless Republican attack on public education and on our teachers. Just a few days ago off this House floor, Republicans voted to underfund our schools, again, which could cause teacher layoffs across the state. <clears throat> Republicans use teachers and our schools to score political points year after year. Now the House vote was 76 to 55 in favor of this bill. Next stop for the proposal is the Minnesota Senate where they will take up the issue.